Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. This is the next episode of my VR and AR weekly news, this time with week 4, 2023. Oh, I'm so happy. It's so, sh it's so cold here <laughs> in Germany. I really love that. I Sometimes in my, in my apartment I have like... Um, 15 degrees degrees Celsius. It's pretty cold, but I but I love that. Uh, it's it's just <laughs> I, I I I love that. <laughs> so we'll find everything about VR and AR hardware games releases and sales. Thank you to my sponsors: Vutlus VR, Opperman Events, Virtual Escape, Slim Beats, and Aeroflight FS Flight Simulator. Let's have some fun with the weekly news and let's go. Voodoo.de So you have a strong stomach, you have your VR legs, then check out Windlands 2. So I played this, I think, years ago on the, I think it was Quest 1 or, or PC VR, I'm not really sure. And now it's, it will arrive on Quest 2 on February 2nd, 2023. The game is really fast. It's a very fast game, so please have your VR legs. Uh, we are like in a parkour we have to swing around trees and platforms and stuff we have to fight against titans and so on and so on and uh yeah i i will show you a video on my channel as soon I, as i got it and then uh yeah i as i played that years before that was all already really nice so i guess the quest 2 version will be also very nice windlands 2. so are you into boxing in vr ha <laughs> Then check out this year. So years ago there was Thrill of the Fight. It was a pretty nice boxing game. And now they are developing together with the Half Brick Studios from Fruit Ninja. They develop a Thrill of the Fight 2. And there will be a better experience, a better um, audio and visual feedback. <laughs> and um, yeah, then you will be able to... Do good, uh, good boxing fights. Uh, they're still um, not clear uh, on which platform it will be released. It will be released 2023. And um, it's likely that it will come to Quest 2, of course, and Steam VR. Um, but I also think it will be released on PlayStation VR because now on the PlayStation VR we have the full room scale tracking and, and also you can go around your enemy without losing tracking and stuff. So this is gonna be really awesome. So we will see how good that is. So there are not always good news. So this is not a good news. Perhaps you've heard that in the TV or news or something. Um, the big companies are struggling. Yeah, um, For example, Meta or Amazon or here in this case, Microsoft. And Microsoft is uh, laying off 10,000 employees, which is which really sucks, of course. Um, so I think their problem is um, the the PC market. Uh, there are not many um, PCs sold because I think the whole planet has to save money now because of all that shit. And um, so uh, there, as a result, um, of course, this has an influence on the VR. Um, part of Microsoft. So that caused that um, the social VR platform Altspace will be closed on March 10th, 2023, unfortunately. I tried Altspace VR, it was really nice and uh, there, were, there were people inside, um, which is not no <laughs> not regular and, and on VR platforms, mostly the, it's, everything is empty if you don't play VR chat rec room. Um, then, yeah. But yeah, that's unfortunate. So that's the end of all space VR, a nice uh, social VR platform. Microsoft still says they will focus on immersive uh, VR experiences, but yeah, I don't know. This could last some years before there's something coming, especially when they uh, laid off uh, 10,000 employees here. Okay, we will see though. So that's unfortunately the end of uh, all space VR. Mixed wave guide AR optics. This is what um, the company Ant VR um, showed. Um, Ant VR was a company that failed in the early days. They made a Kickstarter campaign that failed and stuff. But they are back now, and that's that's nice. So they made 
VR, AR optics or mixed reality optics that can switch instantly with a special um, technique. Look at this. So it can, in, in this mode, it's VR. You cannot see through. It's just black. And then look at this. Then he can see through. It's, it's crazy. That goes so fast. That, that means norm, normally with augmented or with mixed reality headsets, you always look into a display and um, your real environment, real environment is passed through through the cameras in front of the headset. But here you really see with your own eyes your real environment, not through a display. And that's really nice. So look at this here. We have the VR mode. And now, zack, we have the AR mode. And that's nice. Of course, they have to fix that a little bit, some stuff. But that's going to be awesome when we have this in mixed reality headsets later. I have no idea when, where, and how that will be released. Because, of course, this is only a prototype. Yeah, that This is not a real mixed reality headset. Um, but if this will inc be included in, in a headset later, that could be really interesting from Ant VR. And here are some good news. <laughs> so Among Us VR, this is a really nice game. It's a multiplayer game. You are on a space station and you have to solve tasks with your group. And one of them is a betrayer. Uh, and he has to sabotage everything and kill the other people. And um, he has to do that uh, silently and, and stealth mode, I would say. Really fun game. You should play it. Um, and they sold 1 million copies since the release in November 2023. That's not a long time ago. So there is a proof that it, it is still possible to earn money um, to sell stuff in, in VR. <clears throat> of course, in this case, Among Us is already a really well-known game for flat gamers. Um, so without VR, so they got a really huge push, of course. But nevertheless, it's interesting that this is possible. And yeah, it's available on Quest 2 and PC VR. And it will be released on PlayStation VR 2 at release of the PlayStation VR. And what I really love is that this is not an overpriced game like 40 bucks for, for a small casual game. No, it's 10 bucks and that's a really fair price. And um, yeah, 10 times uh, 1 million um, sold units, that's 10 million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so, so really nice. Um, I hope there will be more uh, games like this that are fun and so on. So this can get a really big push into VR. Thumbs up. Half-Life. Half-Life. <laughs> so if I hear this word in combination with VR, I, I get goosebumps all the time. <laughs> so there will be Half-Life 2 Episode 1 in VR, finally. Um, from the Source VR mod team that made a really nice Half-Life um, 2 VR mod that was nearly as nice as Half-Life Alyx. So I'm totally looking forward to episode 1. Look at this. Oh, I, I, can't, uh, I can't wait. <laughs> um, so this update, it, this is a VR mod. It's for free. and um, But you have to um own the game of course the standard game half-life 2 episode 1 but i think everybody should have uh, the complete half-life package in his steam library it's it's forbidden to not have it <laughs> crazy so it will be released in q1 2023 so pretty soon and i'm so looking forward to um to play that you can't believe it <laughs> really nice what do you think and let's check out the releases this week. Uh, on Steam we have Pro Era. So you have to guide your team to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> that looks interesting on Steam. Then we have Stellar Echoes. I would say this is a space adventure. 
interesting with some puzzles. Then take care we are. I think it's clear. This is a zombie VR horror shooter. And the next one uh, as well. This is Fisherman's House. A uh, spooky experience. And Warplanes Battle over Pacific. This is a Warplane simulator, of course. Then on the quest we have First Touch, Painting Simulator. Remio, this is a meeting platform in VR. Silhouette, <clears throat> I already showed that on my channel. This is a really nice game with light and shadows. You have to, to use hand tracking and the, sh the shadow of your hands um, is uh, needed by the puzzles. There's nothing new on the PlayStation VR and I know many people ask me why don't you show the newest Pico uh, games because it's not, there is no web page. There is one but this is very old games. I, they don't um, keep that uh, uh, with the newest releases here. That's just old stuff. The only thing is in the in the Pico app there I can I could show you the the newest releases. For example, we have a, a Dio VR and this is a, a player a video player, but it's very hard. I could stream that somehow in the browser or something, but it, it's just bad. Why don't they have a web page um, to to that I can show it better? I wrote them, but they don't really care about that. So I'm really sorry. I try to mention that uh, somehow, but um, it's hard for the Pico 4 news. And let's check out the sales this week. On Steam we have Zero Kaliber, nice multiplayer shooter, 33% off. Then the, um, the all the Series 7 VR titles are on sale, 70% off. Then we have Organ Quarter, this is a really nice horror adventure, 50% off. Deism, a god simulator, 30% off. Garden of the Sea, a really relaxing game where you can take care of your garden and your creatures, 50% off. Eye of the Temple, an Indiana Jones simulator, I would say, where you have to avoid traps and get into a temple and stuff, 50% off. Then also a relaxing VR adventure, um, Paper Beast, 60% off. And The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners 1 is on sale, 50% off. That's awesome. And on the PlayStation VR we have Ark Park, Dinosaur Adventure 80% off and Batman Arkham VR is 80% off. So guys, please consider to support me. You get behind the scenes videos and early access to my videos. Check out the first pinned comment. Give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.